So my name is Andy Pasternak. I'm a family practice physician and we're out here on a beautiful day at North Star doing a field test, uh, doing a lactate field test. Uh, I'm from Silver Sage Sports Performance and we're based in Reno, Nevada. Um, we provide athletic services for really athletes of all calibers. Our goal is to really try to get cyclists, runners, um, swimmers, cross country skiers to the level of fitness that they want to be at. We like working with beginner athletes, everyone up to the advanced athletes. Hi, I am with Andy at Silver Sage Sports Performance and at Silver Sage we have a unique model where we provide comprehensive services from the testing to coaching. So I lead up the coaching side of it and work with the, the athletes, taking them with, with their, their tests in hand and then can provide some effective training for them to reach their goals. Um, benefits of doing this out in the field are we can really sort of, you know, obviously this is where people ride. They're outdoors. Uh, and so we're able to get much more um, reputable heart rates. The, the heart rate data that we get out here is a little bit more what people will actually see when they're riding. So it's kind of nice to do field testing from that standpoint, um, especially when it comes to things like maximum heart rate. Challenge sometimes in the lab is people aren't able to get their heart rate up as high as they are when they're in the field. So sometimes coming out in the field, especially for the maximum test, can be really helpful. The data we collect, uh, while we're out here, we're, we're basically looking at three things. Uh, we're looking at the athlete's heart rate. Uh, we want to see what their heart rate is, uh, especially at the end of the interval stage. Uh, we're looking at what their exertion level is. Uh, we'll also be looking at their exertion level um, and then we look at their, their lactate at the, at the end of the stage. So the lactate is a, uh, a blood test. Uh, we do a little poke of the ear, athletes don't feel it, and then we get a small drop of blood and we're able to measure what their lactate is at the end of the stage. Um, if, the, if the athlete has the capacity, we'll also measure the time and distance so we can give them some idea of what the speed is. By defining someone's lactate threshold, it allows us then to create zones off the off percentages of that lactate threshold. So the exact endurance zones, um, anaerobic zones, and VO2 zones. And again, based on the athlete and their particular goals, then we can create a training plan using those tools and very very specifically um, prescribe training for them. And again, I I think the for me the greatest value is making sure those athletes are training the specific systems versus um, just going out at their perceived exertion. So it takes the guesswork out of it. So another place lactate testing is really useful is helping to compare how someone's doing with training. We can do a baseline lactate test and then after a training block of two to three months we can repeat that test and by using lactate testing we can get very objective evidence of improvement. So really good job with your test. Uh, we got some really uh, interesting data on you. Um, generally, you're running fairly high lactate levels throughout the whole test, um, which to me tells me that you probably have a fair amount of fast twitch fibers, um, and, um, and which can be good for certain races and can be detrimental in certain races. Um, your, lag, your threshold's probably gonna be around a heart rate. I'm gonna guesstimate probably about 165, 167 right in there. Um, when I get back to the office on Monday, we'll plug some of these numbers in and draw out some nice curves and we'll be able to analyze things a little bit more for you.